Hi everybody, not that long ago we used to teach the basics of how to boost a post on Instagram and you do not do this anymore. It was a video I had how to boost a post on Instagram from your mobile device and please do not do that because you will now be charged 30% extra. So this is since last year, but we tend to forget it. If you pick up your phone, you go on Instagram, you click boost post, you will be charged 30% extra. So your budget, advertising budget, 30% of it will go to Apple. So in order to avoid this, you want to boost from desktop. Now you can boost a post, an existing post, either from your Facebook business page, from Meta, Business Suite, or you can also go straight to Instagram.com and boost your Instagram post right from Instagram.com. I'm gonna show you both ways, starting with, in this video, how to boost a post from Facebook. We are in 2025. I have another video that's gonna show you how to boost straight from Instagram, a post on Instagram.com. And I also have on my YouTube channel, a step-by-step -step video tutorial. It's longer, 30 minutes, on how to use Facebook Ads Manager. That's a way more robust way to advertise on Facebook and Instagram. But for now, let's keep it simple and let's learn how to advertise or boost a post on uh, Facebook. So if you go to your Facebook business page, if you have a, a post you'd like to advertise, see, I have this new video and I'd like to help it be seen by people that I think might be interested. And then I'll create more views to this video. So if I decide to boost this post, there's two ways I can go about it. I want to think, what is my goal? What do I want people to do? So first you identify your goal. Do I want to get more messages? This is what by default Facebook is telling me, but I'm going to change this and I'm going to say, okay, I could get more video views on Facebook, which could be a good way to get more views. But what I want to do is actually send people to my YouTube channel because I want to use Facebook to drive people to my video on YouTube. Okay. To grow my YouTube channel. So in this case, I'm going to say more website visitors. Now, what website am I going to send people to? Well, that's a really good question. What I'm going to do is send them to my YouTube channel. So I'll show you how to do that. So first of all, um, so I've created boost post. What you want to do is in the top right here, it says ad account. Always check that you're advertising from the proper ad account. Some of us have several ad accounts, so make sure you have the good one. You change, you choose your goal, whatever your goal might be. I'm gonna check the description. This is exactly what I was using um, in my post, so that's fine. Because when you create, when you choose website, um, send people to your website, it kind of recreates your, your existing post. So you can check. Um, in this case, I, I, you can change your thumbnail if it's a video, it's always a good idea. So here, it says headline home, and home, and you're gonna see in the ad preview, it's going to be what you see here. So I'm going to say, I'm going to choose not headline, but social media tips, because this is what this is. And I'm going to say, watch more. See how I have all these um, button action. And do I want them to watch more on my website? No, I want them to watch more on my YouTube channel because that's what I'm trying to grow at this moment. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say here. Now, keep in mind, your, the URL you put could be anything. It could be your website, could be a listing. If you're in real estate, like you might want to send people to the listing on your website. Like you can send people wherever you want to with whatever call to action, okay? Then we get to the special ad category. This is really important. And listen to me, if you're in real estate, this mistake will happen over and over and you might get your account disabled. So if you are putting anything that's got something to do with housing or employment, a job offer and social and financial, but mostly housing and employment, it's called a special ad category. And I really want you to make sure that you click housing or employment. What happens then is that you are a little bit restricted of what you can advertise, like who you can target in terms of interest and age and demographics and so on, because they want everyone to learn about employment or every, you, 
everyone to have the choice to see the job offer, but you can still uh, choose some interest and it's really important that you put that so you don't get your ad rejected, okay? So see, here it says YouTube social media tip, watch more, right? Um, okay, so here, do I don't need a special ad category because I am not in real estate or it's not an employment, but what I wanna do is refine my audience because this post that I've taken on my Facebook business page and click Blue's post, I'm taking this post and I'm, it's gonna be shown in the news feed of people that I target, okay? It's gonna appear in their news feed. So make sure you have a good post and um, make sure you target it. Otherwise it's gonna be seen by everybody in Canada that's like 18 or older, but I wanna be more specific. I want people to really um, be people that can subscribe to my channel and maybe sign up for my social media course and so on. So I'm gonna say, I want people, like I know my demographic is a little bit, um, say around here, and then I'm gonna say, okay, where do I want them to be? Well, let's narrow it down a bit to people who kind of know me and are more likely to um, respond with this. So uh, I can put, this is where we are. So I can put Pemberton. And also this is where I teach, so it makes sense to target. And I can actually put Vancouver. How about we do that too? Okay, Vancouver. And then detailed targeting. What are the interests? Who might be interested by my video? It's a video about um, Facebook ads. So I can put Facebook, Facebook, social media, people that are administrators of Facebook business pages. I can put people interested in Instagram, uh, people that are uh, actually Instagram administrators, people in marketing, um, people that are marketing, they're interested in marketing, uh, and so on. So I can go on. If you want to, you can also browse what you have and then you can go through all these demographics, all the different interests, all the different behaviors, right? It's really, really cool. So you. It allows you to refine your audience and then you save this audience, okay? So now instead of my ad being seen by the whole planet, it's being seen by people that could be potential customers. Now, when you get to this, this is the other super thing that you might have a mistake. Run this ad continuously. Never choose this because we have seen, Heather and I, we've thought like thousands of students this. And each time there's someone who has an ad that they said run continuously and that ad has been running continuously and they've been charged continuously for an ad they didn't even know was running anymore. So I like to always, always choose when the ad will end. So let's say I'm only gonna put it for a week in this case. The other thing I like to always look is the total amount I'm gonna be charged because Sometimes this amount is the total amount of your campaign and sometimes it's the daily amount. And it's kind of tricky when you don't pay super attention to figure out. So what I like to do is play with this and say, okay, what's the cheapest I can advertise for? So in this case, it says, well, the lowest you can do is $3. It used to be a dollar a day. Depends what you're advertising. So I'm like, Okay, I'm gonna put $3, big spender, seven days, $22 to push my video to be seen by more people. Always double check the Visa card that you're using, the credit card you're using to make sure it works out. And then this is interesting. See, it says advantage in Plasman. Let us maximize your budget to see where it's gonna go. So if I close this, you can see it's, do I want it in Messenger? I do not want it in Messenger. I would like it to have it on Facebook and Instagram. And then when you click here, it kind of grays out. And so it's kind of it wants more to be just on Facebook uh, on both of them. And I have chosen just Instagram before and it did work. You can from your Facebook business page decide to just if your Instagram business account and your Facebook business account are connected together. That's a whole new story. You could play with this. However, it kind of, it's not ideal. So for now, I'm gonna leave it at both because this is what 
it seems to be wanting more. If you advertise from Instagram.com, that's my other video, then it's definitely just on Instagram. You can play with that too, but okay. And then I click publish and then it submits my ad. My ad is going to be uh, shown for review. And then I'm going to get a message saying your ad has been approved or rejected. And um, you can see, okay, I'm spending a whole $20. You can go to your ad center to see um, a little bit what's going on. And here you can see more details. And this is where we, we talk in um, analytics and the six steps for social media success, how to uh, get your data from ads manager. But there you go. This is your ad center. You can see what's going on and then you can click on your ad once it's going and you can interact with it. I hope this video was useful. Make sure to check out my website for the six steps to social media success and also to check the other video that shows you how to advertise on Instagram.com and if you want to take it a step further, how to advertise using Meta and Facebook Ads Manager. Thank you. Bye-bye.